Soldiers ran for their lives as UGM took over Ohafia in Abia State. Hear the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome to Biafra Unite Channel slash Television this very moment. Today's date is 24th of September 2022 and I have something to talk about this very afternoon. You see, since yesterday, videos have been on circulation and the news is already everywhere over the confrontation between the UGM and, of course, the terrorists in Nigerian military uniform. Now, I want to make a clarification here because the you know, details of that very confrontation to some quarters is still very, very sketchy. So, that is actually the reason why I have come to make this very broadcast that I'm making right now so that it goes very, very viral for people to understand what actually transpired yesterday in Ohafia. Even as I'm speaking to you right now, the area is not as calm as some people have claimed, for especially from the zoo police. Now, before moving forward, I would want to play you the, you know, few seconds clip of video for you to watch in case you have not seen the video i want you to watch it first of all and then i will clarify i will tell you what actually happened because i have taken my time to investigate and of course i have the full package in my hands how it happened what actually happened and why it actually happened so watch the video first don't go nowhere we still have more indicating. Now, that happened in a community called Ebe, Ebe community in Ohafia local government area of Abia State yesterday and is still happening today, even though there has, there has not been, you know, sporadic shooting today, but the area is still under tension. Now, according to the information which we have gathered, it was reported actually that one person was was wounded by the you know by these soldiers and properties including houses worth millions of naira if not billions were also destroyed by the same soldiers from 14 brigade of the Nigerian army or Hafia in Abia state the the barracks is called Jonathan Ebele Goodluck barracks in our half year. now a prominent let me now tell you what actually happened i want you to pay very close attention because this is download i'm giving you the full details of what really happened yesterday in our half year. There, there, there's a prominent you know a member of a cultural dance a pair cultural group from amebu in our half year, who died and as tradition, remember, he is he was a prominent member of a pair cultural group. Of course, you know what is a pair, and you know how the people of Ohafia hold it so dearly, just like normal, just like our own uh, those of those of those of us from our side, we do masquerade. So this a pair is so respected in their own side. Now. This very man died. He was a prominent member of a cultural group from Amebu in Ohafia, local government area, of course, of Abia State, who died. And as a tradition demanded, youth from the area organized the Ekpe festival for his burial. In the course of the, of the festival, it was gathered also 
that a fracas ensued between the youth and some soldiers as they gathered to host the festival for that very for the late you know uh, 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 member the zoo military the zoo soldiers the zoo terrorists in military uniform came to thwart the effort to bury that man based on the demand of the tradition are you getting it so as the soldiers came to stop the festival this you know the ceremony the youths resisted them the youths of the land resisted them do you know what they did they went back to their barracks and regrouped they came back with loads of soldiers and thereafter descended on the community they started shooting sporadically they started setting houses ablaze that house you saw burning was set ablaze by the nigerian military according to an eyewitness they came in with fuel and matches they set houses ablaze destroy lots of properties and in the ensuing commotion one civilian was said to have been shot on the leg why properties what bil millions if not billions of naira were destroyed by these rampaging soldiers now as god may have it i said as god may have it the angels arrived the i want to repeat that again as god may have it the angels arrived when where where did they see when is the fire water water and is the fire water water so as it stands for now we cannot authoritatively confirm if there is any casualty or the number of casualties especially from the zoo side we already know that one civilian one indigen was shot in the leg and he is recuperating in the hospital so we don't know we don't know yet how many we are sent to judgment by the UGM that same yesterday. So, but I can amu imi nani. I can amu imi nani. Kaimara, because of the tension in the area, so it is very, very difficult for people to come out, you know. Of course, I've read some some statement from the zoo police. They say that, you know, that uh, normalcy has been restored. You know how they normally speak. They said no mercy has been rest uh, restored. That the soldiers have gone back to their barracks and police have restored no mercy. That is what they said. But our people who are there are confirming to us that there is still tension. And uh, you know something that happened yesterday. Of course, what the zoo normally do is when they lose, they carry. When they lose, they come. They come back to carry their to carry their body bags. So that's what they normally do. So for now, we cannot authoritatively confirm how many people or how many of them that were sent to judgment. But the shot, the gunshot that we had yesterday was so much. And I want to believe that many were... Because according to our people who told us the full story of what really happened is that if you hear the sound the sound of the you know the gunshot from the phenomenal ugm my dear that the time the zoo you know ginger weed had it <laughs> remember they came in few number from the beginning like four of them four to five of them then when the youth resisted them from disrupting the the ceremony they went back to the barracks and now came in with trucks are you getting me they came back with trucks in order now to intimidate the youth of the land and set houses ablaze destroy cars but unfortunately to them the angels arrived 
and rescue the people. According to our our own, you know, person, say if we don't do janja we this year, boy, so up afar na kufana zisi. And I love that. Thank you, my people. Kwa dewa godunu. If we hear another information, we cannot hesitate to let you know. God bless you.